Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how you can actually transfer the ownership of your website or your WordPress or whatever it is to another person. So, <coughs> so sorry guys. Basically to do so, please make sure that you are opening your dashboard just like me with, with going to wordpress.com slash wp uh, admin and putting your information by logging in your username and password. So right after it, what you have to do is basically just uh, follow my three methods or whatever it is to do it like me. First of all, if you want to do anything about your like uh, to transfer the admin like the whole website to someone else, you can go to settings and from here you go and you give administration email address to this email. So you give it to whatever to whatever address email you want it to be. The other method, which is creating a new user or giving a new username, which is administrator, like creating a, a new make user name, password, etc., and make it a administrator. The second method or the third method, which is going straight ahead and you know when you let's go look out like that so this username and email and address or like a password give them to someone else and then let him change, the, change them later for his own like uh, he, he can change, the, change it later so for example for me i'm having here user one two three i will give it to someone else if i wanted to touch my uh, ownership to, to him uh, the last method which is given the cPanel to that person to whoever it is so the cPanel is where your um, your uh, domain or your website data is located basically the cPanel got every single data about your website so if you give the cPanel uh, username and password to that person you will be transferring the administration or the or the ownership of this website to that person so yeah guys that's how you can actually transfer the ownership to someone else so thank you guys for watching see you next tutorial bye bye